Good morning, Britain, on a historic day for the country, handing over the keys to number 10 in just a few hours. David Cameron will resign. Theresa May will become our first woman prime minister in 26 years. Within hours of David Cameron telling the Queen he's standing down, Theresa May will make the most important journey of her life, coming here to Buckingham Palace, where Her Majesty will ask her to form a government. Top jobs for women in a new look cabinet. Before the end of the day, Theresa May will begin announcing her senior team. Yes, Home Secretary, Foreign Secretary, Chancellor's job as well. Just a few of the big roles up for grabs. Within hours of Theresa May moving into Downing Street, she will be rallying the troops, but who could face the chop? Meanwhile, a coup for Corbyn as the Labour leader wins the right to stand again in a leadership contest. Now, Labour MPs fear the party could split and descend further into civil war. People will vote for the party. And I think during this leadership campaign, we'll resolve our differences, unite, and then go into the general election with a united party. Also this morning, a long-lost family reunited 50 years later, separated at birth. We meet the woman who travelled 10,000 miles around the world to find her real mum. Wednesday, 13th of July, 2016, live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain. So just after 8 o'clock on main news this morning, Theresa May will become Britain's first woman Prime Minister in 26 years later on today. Within hours of getting the keys to number 10, she is expected to appoint senior members of her new cabinet. Before that historic shift to power, both David Cameron and Theresa May will be heading to Buckingham Palace. Or our Charlotte Hawkins is there for this momentous day, looking extremely regal herself. Charlotte, what's <laughs> going to be going on today? Very exciting.